our continuing coverage mandating nearly every kid in Colorado get vaccinated. That's an idea one state representative is tossing around and it would be for a number of reasons. Newswise Katie Blaze is at a packed meeting at the state capitol today. She joins us in studio with more on this idea. Katie. Yeah, Elizabeth, today's meeting was a chance for families to share their concerns with Representative Kyle Mullica. And from the big turnout we saw, there's a lot of people who are skeptical of this kind of idea. In Colorado, students in school or licensed child care are required to be vaccinated against certain diseases unless they have a medical or other exemption on file. But State Representative Kyle Mullica tells me there's a problem. Our state is seeing an increase in preventable diseases. It's endangering public health and costing taxpayers millions. So he wanted to look at removing some of those exemptions. We do not believe that the, that, that, that the government should be mandating health choices. You know, that is up to each parent. Lindsay Schwartz believes her kids are at a greater risk of being hurt by a vaccine due to family history after what happened to her nephew. His brain got completely inflamed and he will have chronic issues for the rest of his life. Jessica Eberhardt, a certified health coach, tells me. Not everybody has the same genetic makeup. Not everybody has the same genes. Having a one size fits all approach for something uh, like vaccination or any medical procedure for that matter really needs to be looked at carefully. But Mullica says our state ranks last in kindergarten vaccine rates. He wants to figure out how to keep all our kids safe and prevent epidemics. While his idea sparked controversy with some, folks were open to having the conversation. I think it's amazing what he did. Not, not, not a lot do that. They don't actually sit down and just listen and that's huge. Well, Representative Mullica tells me there is no way medical exemptions would or should ever be eliminated. And to be clear, this is not moving through the legislature right now. It was just a listening session. We'll keep you updated. Always watching out for you, Colorado. Katie Blaze, News 5.